Time now for medical rounds. In 2021, Hartford Hospital had a one-year record for heart transplants with 40 transplants performed, the most in Connecticut and the second most in New England. This program also marked its 500th heart transplant in program history. And as we transition into a new year, the program continues to be one of the top in the nation. So here to talk more about Hartford Hospital's heart transplant program is Dr. Ayaz Ali, Surgical Director of Hartford Transplant, uh, the heart transplant at Hartford Hospital, rather. Thank you so much for being with us, doctor. Thanks for having me join you. So, you know, this program continues to accomplish major milestones. Why do you think it's been so successful? Well, I'm fortunate to work with a great team and also Hartford, Hartford Healthcare is very invested in helping patients with, with heart failure. Uh, heart failure is extremely prevalent in our population. And it's one of those conditions which it's often a slow burner and many of the patients have an insidious onset, but it's really prevalent in our communities and is extremely morbid. Although it doesn't carry the same sort of dread as uh, conditions and diagnoses like cancer, it has similar or even worse outcomes than most forms of cancer. So uh, from system-wide, there's a real commitment to identifying these patients and helping them get the treatment that they need. And initially, that isn't things as advanced as transplantation. What they initially need, if they have heart failure, is just very good medical care from cardiologists and from primary care doctors and other members of our medical community. But when they do progress to the point where they're unable to continue to live functional lives despite being optimally treated with medications and other measures, then, of course, the delivery of these advanced treatments such as transplantation becomes very worthwhile for them in being able to continue with their lives and getting back to good health. You know, sometimes people are on lists to get a heart for a long time. What is the criteria to be on that transplant list? So to go on to the uh, heart transplant waiting list, uh, it's a very carefully uh, planned decision, which involves a rigorous evaluation phase. So first of all, again, we have those patients with heart failure who may have been treated for their heart failure in the community by other physicians and clinicians for some period of time. And they make their way to our heart failure medical team because of their ongoing problems with heart failure. If we then feel that we can no longer help them with conventional means, we will open up a heart transplant evaluation. And that, again, involves a lot of different tests, both of their physical and physiological state, but also a lot of other complex issues, such as whether they have the right support in their uh, social circumstances. Um, there are a myriad of things that we look at to evaluate people when it comes to being potentially suitable for heart transplant. So it's a thorough process. Yeah. And after that, their candidacy is carefully discussed amongst members of our team. Yep. And we always try to say yes, and if we feel we can help them, then we place them on the heart transplant waiting list. Doctor, I know that so much goes into this and we can't cover it all right here because we're out of time, but we wanna thank you for joining us. And we wanna invite everyone to get more information. We're lucky to have such a great center right here in Connecticut. You can visit hartfordhealthcare.org transplant. Thank you, doctor.